Centralina, ja. Spinnaker ist ab. We left Centralina on the 7th of April knowing that we had a, a 1,850 nautical mile sail which would take us uh, with the wind conditions that we were expecting around 14 days. Say so, love it. Yeah. <laughs> On your way out. Centralina. Yeah. Yeah. Chilly. Yeah, it's not warm. Let's go and have a look at the sun. Oh wow, that's beautiful, lovey. There's the moon. We were expecting calm. Um, predictable conditions so we actually flew the spinnaker right through the night It did not take us too long to catch our first fish. It was day two, we got our first strike. So when you bring it, what do I do? I grab it by the bull and hold it. Just hold it. And you... And this can go on and on for hours, huh? It's a big tuna as well, you know? Yeah. It's only worth it if you work for it. I won't stop till they hear me out. I won't stop till I wear the crown. Oh well, cut that. Oh, baby. 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 O
We always release sailfish or marlin, any billfish, back into the ocean. This is how we basically sail at night, the red light on the inside of the boat, so that you can just basically see what's going on inside if you need to go and fetch something. But on the outside, you still got your night vision to be able to uh, see clearly at night. It really is lovely sailing at night when you have a full moon because you get that shine on the sea and you really can see quite well at night. This was our second strike on the trip and our first fish on the boat. Sunday the 10th, yeah. April. Hi, really. Yeah. Oh, good. Mike. All good. <laughs> good. Okay, let's have a look at the sunset. It's just gone down. It's funny cap still. And beautifully. And you see. Really? Almost busy, boy. Ah. <laughs> ah. Four days out at sea, no other human beings around. Yeah. Really lovely, my girl. We've got a fish today. Fish today, yeah. Fish today. Ah. So we're happy. I mean, Blue beautiful fin. sunset. Bluefin tuna. tuna. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's us. Very, very happy, yeah. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that would be sunset. Mm. Oh, it's so calm. Yeah. Oh, it's just so calm. Nice. Mmm, what's your salad? I think my potatoes are really good. Oh, they're just potatoes. Almost halfway into our trip, the squall started developing while we were sailing. Is it fishing? Fishing? Fish. Fish, yeah. Okay. And it's The entire passage so far was just pure, beautiful, downwind spinnaker sailing. Yep. Cooking, eh?
another fantastic full moon sail at sea. During this passage we found that late at night at about 1 o'clock in the morning the wind dropped to about 7 or 8 knots apparent wind and we dropped down to about 4 knots uh, speed over ground. 6 in the morning though. Yes. It's early. Oh, okay. no? ah. Yeah. This is early morning before the sun has risen on a full moon night you can still see quite a lot as the morning starts moving on and before the sun even rises. This was the first ship we saw um, coming past us. This was six days into our passage. During the passage we noticed that on the days we had the spinnaker on the port side and after sunset it tended to be flying on the starboard side. See that, Molly? What are you doing? Standing in the lift. We've got some hang on the boat. So <laughs> if we've got a problem now, we know you're just going to go hang on the ladder there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look. Just go down. <laughs> when it was really hot on the boat and very little wind, we took to the water to get some cooling. With a lifeline, with a tether line, and the <laughs> Whenever there's dolphins on a passage, you move to the front um, deck and sit on the front and cheer them on and greet them and watch them play in front of the boat. It never gets time to watch dolphins playing in front of the uh, boat. Lots of them, eh? Look at that one jumping there.
Easter was a day away, so Maya got busy with some baking to have everything ready for Easter lunch. Hello. Huh? Easter today. Easter? Oh wow, Finally. this is all Maya's nice food here. Finally Easter. Mm. Wow. Finally Easter. Run. Well, use what you can. Mm. <laughs> Lovely, my dog. Thank oh. you. Okay. Another hot day, oh. Hot day. But no wind today. Flat. And then just after Easter, the wind basically died off for the full day and came back a little bit in the evening. Today is our 12th day of Atlantic crossing. Um, hopefully by Thursday we'll arrive to Brazilian Island Fernando de um, We are still flying spinnaker. Um, and yeah, and I saw first aeroplane flying across the sky. Uh, maybe you can see a little mark there. Not really. So yeah, we're not alone anymore. Stones tonight. But it's so big, huh? Our third and final fish for this passage was a nice yellowfin tuna to give us some lovely meat for the rest of the week.
it's never pleasant coming into an unknown anchorage at night, but we were relying a lot on our charts, which were considered to be accurate for this area, to get us safely into our um, area where we'd be able to anchor for the night. We arrived at our anchorage at 3 o'clock in the morning on the 21st of April. Our total distance sailed during this passage was 1,830 nautical miles. If you like this video, please click the like button and subscribe to see further of our episodes.